Hey everyone, no trick today, but I do have something I think everyone will be interested in seeing. Uh, have you ever seen that movie, Casino Royale, where I think it's uh, Mads Mikkelsen is sitting across from Daniel Craig at the poker table, and he's taking his poker chips and he's shuffling them, just like this. And I thought that was the coolest thing in the world, so I immediately wanted to go out and figure out how to shuffle chips like he did. So I integrated myself into the poker world, and I think I learned how to do it the best way you can. I'm going to teach you how to take poker chips and shuffle them together in this video. So, starting off, to shuffle chips properly, you're going to need the right kind of poker chip. These are fairly heavy, hefty poker chips, and they're also smooth around the outside. So if we take chips like um, this instead, these are relatively rough and they're kind of plasticky and they're sticky and when, when we try to shuffle these chips, we can still do it, but it, 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 it's a little tricky. You gotta do a little bit of jiggling and a little bit of motion. Uh, so selecting the right kind of poker chip is very important on whether or not you're gonna be able to shuffle them. See what I mean? They kinda get stuck up like that. So I like to use the finest chips I could find that have a little bit of wobble and slide to them and then also have some heft. So getting into exactly how to shuffle the chips. Um, you want to have an even number of chips, that makes it easier, and you want to be on a surface that provides some padding. So I'm using my uh, magic pad surface here, I also play cards on this surface, and there's a little bit of squish to it which allows my fingers to get underneath those chips and pick them all up. So if I was doing this on like a, a wooden table I might not be able to pick up the chip, but here I can just squeeze down and pick up that chip. It makes it a whole lot easier. So that's one. Uh, the next thing you want to do is take the chips and move them side to side and squish them together so they're even and all of the chips are uh, about the exact same uh, position so you see sort of like this and what you want to do is you want to position your fingers in such a way so your middle finger is right in the middle in between the two and your index and thumb and ring and pinky are around the lateral sides of both of the piles. And to test if you're in the right position, you should be able to pick up all of the chips together with your fingers, just like that. Okay? So I'll let you all practice that. Um, so, just starting from the beginning, cut the chips, middle in, th in the uh, middle finger in the middle, and two on the outside. You should be able to pick it all up. And that provides a, a starting basis for the shuffle. Then what you want to do is you want to lift the middle finger up, and what that does is it just tilts everything upward slightly. So if I was in the hand, I will just tilt up like that. That's the first thing you want to do. And you'll notice as soon as I tilt this middle finger up, the chips, the first one, starts to fall on its own. You might notice that as well, or it might come with time, but I promise it'll happen. So you lift the middle finger up, you just notice one chip starts to fall, and then what's very important and what a lot of people don't understand when they shuffle chips is it's not just a lifting up motion it's also a rotating inward with the pinky and thumb so after I lift up with the middle finger and pop those chips making them beveled upward the first chip falls down on its own and then I take my thumb and ring finger uh, thumb and pinky excuse me and push them inward and it causes those chips to slide so I'll do that from the back if you can see cut the chips, pick them up, and then put that pinky and thumb inward towards the middle, and that causes the chips to glide and rotate inward. So chips rotate inward, and that causes the chips to actually interlock. That is what's causing the interlocking of the chips, that rotational motion of the pinky and the thumb. Okay. So that's how to rotate chips. You can do a lot of really uh, fun things with shuffling chips. I mean, one thing I like to do is take two chips of different colors. So if we take red and blue, and if we shuffle these once, it just looks kind of pretty. But then we could keep on uh, shuffling them. And if we do, after the second time, it looks you know still pretty ordered. And then after the third time, it just looks like chaos, right? But if we keep shuffling them, and this works with 
an even number of chips. I don't think it works with an odd number of chips all the time. We can keep shuffling them and get them right back to where they were. Uh, I unfortunately screwed up, but I don't feel like doing this whole video again. Um, so I'm just going to stop it right there. But that's one thing you can do uh, with the chips. You can take them, you know, like red and blue and shuffle them into each other. Or you can just use it to annoy your friends at the poker table with that uh, loud clickety-clackety sound, uh, which is always fun to do. You can get into their heads like that. Or you can pretend you're uh, doing a Casino Royale moment. And that's what I mean. You see, we shuffle the chips together and separate them back out, all reds on this side and all blues on that side. And it's fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see uh, some things like this, just general tutorials on how to handle like cards or chips or coins or things like that. And uh, let me know if you wanted to see some more magic videos as well. All right, so thanks for watching. New videos every weekend.